Okay, hello everybody. Good afternoon. Here we go again. Another traumatized. Let me be careful with my words here in the first minute or so. I'm going to say some fluff and then I'll get to it. So, Plies on the left here was recently on Instagram expressing his thoughts about P Valley. Apparently, just like Little Duval, Plies has been traumatized by the by the same gender intimacy scenes. It's a bit too much for Plies, as Little Duval has said. But for some reason, both men are able to recall multiple same gender loving scenes while being horrified and disgusted. They are able to recount everything they saw, which would require you to keep watching and continuing to watch something that you're horrified by. But okay, plus, okay. But um, the response is people are laughing about it and agreeing with them now, which is strange to me, only because when Little Duvall said the same thing, people really went in on Little Duvall. And Plies just, I guess, because Plies does a little boy like this. And he said, like, he said, like a pimp. I guess because he does that little voice. Everybody thinks it's cute that he <laughs> is uh, saying the same thing Little Duvall said. Side note, I'm, I'm, I'm about to show y'all the video. But side note, do y'all know that, uh, I think y'all know this, Plies was a registered nurse. Plies used to speak very, uh, very well-spoken English. Um, that character he does, that's a character. And I guess y'all know that, but it's, it's, it's extremely exaggerated. Plies is a very well-spoken person. That voice is just a complete act. It's very difficult to find footage of Plies speaking properly, but... I think he realized at one point in his career, if they kept hearing his natural speaking voice, it would affect his rap career. Just like Aubrey Graham, when he talks, he he sounds very so called, so called y'all, articulate. But in his rap, he sounds very so called street and hood. But Plies is the same way. If you catch him privately, Plies talks like this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's the video, y'all. But yeah, what do y'all think about that? How's how are people na laughing at, think it's cute what Ply said, but everybody went in hard on Lil Duvall. I don't know. Folks, folks, it's finicky. Okay, watch the video and tell me what you think about what uh, Ply said. Well, I'm really sitting here motherfucking traumatized. I'm really motherfucking traumatized more I think about it. But I was seeing this shit all on social media, hashtag P-Valley and all this shit. So I kept seeing it. So I asked motherfuckers, man, what the fuck is P-Valley? <clears throat> so they said, man, this is a show about goddamn... Strip club. So me being a motherfucker love strip club. I said when I get some time, I'm motherfucking watch that. So the other day I'm sitting in the motherfucking bed, I'm just flipping through the channel and boom, I see motherfucking P Valley. I said, Oh shit. <laughs> they were the motherfucking show right now. So I see a nigga on stage in the strip club, you know, buff ass nigga. They ain't got no motherfucking shirt on or nothing. And he performed. I, it's 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 little little murder. He motherfucking performed. Seven pounds of pressure. Crow. Seven pounds of pressure. Crow. I said, God damn. Motherfucking little murder, motherfucking gangster. So I go to the motherfucking bathroom and come back. And I see motherfucking seven pounds of pressure. <laughs> he in the motherfucking bed <laughs> with 300 motherfucking pounds of pressure. <laughs> he in the motherfucking bed with motherfucking Uncle Clover. <laughs> I said, no, 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 shit. I said, well, motherfucker should have gave me a tutorial. I'm thinking motherfucking P-Valley. <laughs> Stand for motherfucking pussy valley or something. <laughs> but boy, there ain't no motherfucking pussy on motherfucking P-Valley. Then I see goddamn Lil Murder come in the club. <clears throat> and I see goddamn Uncle Clifford Sin and looking at him like he a little motherfucking T-Moon steak or something. <laughs> and I think her name motherfucking Mercedes. She see motherfucking Uncle Clifford just staring at him. So she walk over to motherfucking Uncle Clifford and I, Uncle Clifford, that's you and <laughs> motherfucker, Uncle Clover tell him to come in the bike. He take a bite there and spill the motherfucking bean. And then here come motherfucking little murder. He motherfucking crying. Uncle Clover trying to tell him to get on the motherfucking bus and go to work. <laughs> but he just sitting there crying like a motherfucking baby because 
All he want to do is just stay there and run up and motherfucking uncle. <laughs> You know, take your ass to work. All you want to do is sit here and run up at me all motherfucking day. P Valley, I wish y'all know much success, motherfucking black power. But boy, I can't watch all that shit.